Welcome to Brain Teaser. We are here live on Five. I'm Rachel Pearman, and you know George Clooney, that lovely man. He's in town at the moment for his latest film, and I've read in the papers today that he watches a daily quiz show that has word games on it, and he really fancies the girl or lady with the long, dark hair. Do you think he's talking about me? I mean, how many word game quiz shows are there on TV? Oh, yes, there is another one, isn't there? Anyway, let's move on. This is Brain Teaser, and we've got our first two contestants ready to play. In just a few moments, you'll meet them. But, of course, let's take a look, as we always do at this point, at our first puzzle for you at home of the day. OK, here it is. Now, you could win yourself £250 if you can sort out this scramble. That's what it is. We have taken a word. We've cut it into sections. We've scrambled them up. At the moment, we've given you a word that looks kind of French. Little rouleau, or something like that. Maybe it doesn't look like complete gobbledygook, actually. But if you can understand scramble it and get on the phone and get through to me you could be playing for 250 pounds it could be yours so like I say move them around see what you come up with before you do that let me give you a clue shall I oh no we'll give you a clue. I'll give you a clue a little bit later on actually let's not kick start too easy today I'm gonna give you the phone number here we are 090 that is the number you have to call if you want a chance to play now once connected our computer will randomly select some callers to leave their details and one of those callers could be playing live on the phone with me right here on Brain Teaser. It'll cost you 50p every time you call, but you can also enter via the website as well, 5.tv forward slash Brain Teaser. And always ask permission if you don't pay the bill and make sure you dial carefully. I might give you a clue later, but not at the moment. I'm going to make you work for it. OK, the puzzle's gone. Let's meet our first two contestants of the day. <laughs> Okay, so the first game we're going to play is exactly just like that one. It's called Scramble. So we've taken a word, cut it into sections, scrambled it up. You have to um, buzz in. Okay, now before we do that, Andrew, Mark, welcome to Brain Teaser, of course. Andrew, um, isn't it true you want to be an extra? That's right, Rachel. Now, you don't just want to be an extra in Crossroads or somewhere kind of rainy in this country. You want to go to New Zealand. I'd love to be an orc in Lord of the Rings. You just want a free flight, don't oh, you? Yes. <laughs> well, look, good luck today. Thank and you. over to you, Mark. I'm going to have to talk to you through gritted teeth, just like so. this, because you're a bit of an Arsenal supporter, aren't Not you? Not a bit of an Arsenal supporter. I'm a huge, huge Arsenal supporter. And you were there on Saturday, weren't you? I certainly was, yes, yes. Yes, you beat us, didn't you? Uh, yes, yes. I'm going to take a deep breath now and say good <laughs> luck today here on Brewing Teaser, Mark. Thank you. OK, let us play our first game. Here it is. It's Scramble. Now, there's the first one. Andrew. Minimalist. Yes. Kickstart is off, five points. There you go. And Andrew? Headland. Yes, Headland. And Mark? Exhaustive. Exhaustive is correct. Well done. You get the points. And Andrew? Fascinating. Yes, both going for that buzzer <laughs> at the moment, frantically. And Mark? Pass, sorry. No, OK, <laughs> pass it on to Andrew. Unsaturated. Yes, unsaturated. Well done. Andrew. Disruption. Yes. Disruption was the word we were looking for. Andrew. Necessity. <laughs> I can see how this one is going. <laughs> 30 points at the moment, five to you, Mark. Don't worry. Plenty more to go, Andrew. Uh, peaceable. Yes, is it visible? Yes, it is. There he is. OK, well done. And Andrew again. Oh, manipulative. Yes, what I love, though, is Mark is still laughing. <laughs> Mark. Geography. No. <laughs> no. No. It's not geography. Andrew, <laughs> any ideas? No, it was actually radiography. <laughs> And Mark. <laughs> <laughs> no. OK, Andrew. Disapproval. Yes, disapproval. <laughs> OK, I'm going to give you the scores at this point. Mark has five points, but in the lead is Andrew with 45 points. <laughs> I've never known anybody so giggly as you, Mark, especially because oh. you were losing a lot of points as well. <laughs> it's just Andrew's very fast. Very, very, very fast. But look, yeah. it could all change in the next round. Take a bit of a breather. I'll come back to you in just a few moments. Back to you at home. Let's take a look at our first puzzle of the day. You could win yourself £250. There it is. It's a scramble. So what we've done is we've taken the word, we've scrambled it up, 
we want you to unscramble it. So there you've got blocks of letters there. Keep those letters in the same blocks, obviously, but just move those four blocks around. Now there is just one minute left for you to call on this puzzle. One minute left for you to call, and this time I'm gonna give you a clue just to help you out a little bit. Okay, Fred Elliott is this at the Rover's Return. Okay, Fred Elliott is this at the Rover's Return pub. Extra word just to help you. What do you think he is? If you think you know and you would like a chance to play, why not give us a call on this number? 090 1137 555. That's the phone number. And of course, as always, you can enter via the website as well, which is 5.tv forward slash brain teaser. Just unscramble it, give us the word, and you can win yourself 250 quid. But it's gone now. Let's get back to playing brain teaser. <laughs> Okay, so this is the game called Crossfire, just like a crossword. You give me a number and I give you a clue and hopefully you give me the right word that fits into the space that we're looking for. Okay, do you understand? Yeah. Now, um, the person who's going to start is the person in the lead. <laughs> it's Andrew uh, with 45 points there. So the computer is going to pick Andrew a number. <coughs> and it's chosen number one. So, Andrew, this is for you. What is the surname of the first black cabinet minister in the UK who took over from Andrew Smith in May 2002? Cogs were working, but not quite quick enough. Mark. Botane? Yes. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's Straight all right. in there. No <laughs> need to apologise. You were right. It was in there. OK, then. So you're now in control, Mark. Uh, can I go for two, please? Number two. This Hungarian dish essentially contains paprika and can be made with either beef or mutton. Goulash? Yes. Do you like goulash? Oh, I love goulash, yes. You have Spicy. to say that. You love it. OK, then. <laughs> so plenty more numbers to choose from. Go for it. Six, please. Number six, this word originates from the French and means energy, flair and vivacity. No, sorry. No, over to Andrew. Elan. Yes, it was Elan. That was the word we're looking for. So you're now in control, Andrew, if you'd like to pick a number. Eight, please. OK, number eight. What frame is traditionally used to learn to count on? Abacus. Yes, of course, the abacus was used back in ancient Greece. Four, five, seven, nine, ten, or three? Uh, seven, thank you. Number seven, Gozo and Camino are two of the three inhabited islands of which independent republic in the Mediterranean? Malta. Yes. A place I'd like to go, I haven't been there yet. Okay, which number? Uh, ten, please. Number ten, which Prince's Memorial stands in Kensington Gardens and is 53 metres high? Albert. Yes, the Albert Memorial, which stands near the southern gate between the Alexandra Gate and the Queen's Gate, just in case you want to visit it. <laughs> All right, then, so four, five, nine, or three? Uh, three, please. Number three, what is the surname of the Australian-born actress who played Elizabeth I in Shaker Kapoor's 1998 film Elizabeth? Blanchett. Yes, it was. Kate Blanchett, a very, very good actress. And, of course, she's in The Lord of the Rings, and you should know about that, wanted to be an extra in there. OK, which one would you like now, Andrew? Uh, nine, please. Number nine, which philosopher based his moral ethics on the categorical imperative? No, over to you, Mark. Dagar. No, it wasn't. Dagar, it ends in a T. <laughs> there it was, it was Kant. So, so, so four <laughs> and five. Uh, can I go for five, please? <laughs> Number five. What invasion was instigated by Philip II in 1588? Uh... No, over to Andrew. The Armada. Yes, it was the Armada, which means the final clue is for you, Andrew. So this is it. Four across. What is the surname of the 33-year-old cricketer who is Australia's greatest wicket-taker? Warren. Yes, of course, it was Shane Wan. It was sent home recently. OK, I'm going to give you the scores now. <laughs> Once again, no big surprise. Mark has 25 points, but in the lead I'm going through is Andrew with 115 <laughs> points. Well done, Andrew. Mark, Never even mind. though you are an <laughs> Arsenal supporter, it has to be said, you've been an absolute joy. You were going for your buzzer, you were giggling the whole way through, even though you oh, weren't winning trying. the points. Yeah. It was great to have you here. It's a shame, because if I'd have won £3,000, I'd have gone to Old Trafford to watch Arsenal win the Champions League. So, uh... Just don't <laughs> rub it in. <laughs> Never mind. So cheeky. OK, thank you for playing today. Andrew, I'll see you in a little bit. But now, let's talk to you at home. Who are you, McCaller? 